Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Nadine and thank you guys for tuning in to a brand new video. As you guys can tell by the title, I've got an empty house tour because Vincent and I, we bought a house yeah. and we're going to show you an empty house tour, basically what the house looked like when we picked up the keys from the cellar. Nothing has been done to it, there's no furniture, but the house will look a lot different after we've moved in and started renovating and painting and all of that good stuff. But I thought I'll show you guys around the house before we do anything to it, so you guys can see the before and after. When I show you guys around the house, take it as it is, a lot of things will be changed, will be different, but I thought, let me give you guys a sneak peek of what the house looks like when the seller moved out. So come on guys, and let me show you guys our new home. <laughs> so let me start by showing you guys our porch so the front door is just over there and we've got a second front door which is here so the porch is basically just bare at the moment we're going to do a lot of things to the floor we're going to get the floor done we're going to clean it up a little bit and basically give it some tlc a lot of parts of this house need some tlc we're going to do a lot of cleaning and sprucing of this house but come on in and let me show you guys the rest of the house welcome to our house so when you first come into the house what you first see is this lovely hallway so as you can see by the floor there's carpet on the floor all of this carpet is getting taken away we're gonna have um, some vinyl flooring or laminated flooring we don't know yet but this carpet is definitely going but as you come in I'm gonna show you the rest of the house. So this is the hallway, it goes further down. We're gonna to get to all the other bits as soon as we move around the house. Okay, so the first thing you see when you come into the, into the hallway, so the front door is just there. And on my left, which is your right, we have the downstairs toilet. It's small, it's functional, one person at a time, but it does the job. It also needs some TLC. We're gonna take away the red paint and we're gonna just basically make it neutral. We're gonna spruce it up and basically make it so nice, nicer than it is already. So we have a downstairs toilet. So as we move along in here, we have a storage cupboard. So basically, coats, hoovers, anything domestic, I think we'll be living in here. We're also going to spruce it up and make it look really, really nice. So, and on my right is the kitchen. So let's move on to the kitchen and let me show you guys what we have over here, what we're working with. So this is our kitchen. It's a good size. I'm absolutely in love with the size of this kitchen. It's literally gonna be an amazing kitchen once it's done. At the moment, it's very old. The cabinets are old, the floor is old, the sink is old, it just needs some TLC. So we're gonna basically get rid of all the cupboards, the floor, get some new appliances in here and just make it look super super nice i have some inspo that i'm going to put up on the screen so you guys can see the vibe that i'm kind of going with but yeah this is our kitchen at the moment and we've got a combi boiler some nice lighting coming in from the front of the house but yeah this is our kitchen i'm super in love with the size of it like this kitchen was literally one of the things that won me over i love the size and it's going to be so amazing once it's all done so let's move on to the next part of the house so we're coming back into the hallway. So we have underneath the stairs, there's some like storage area, some empty space. So these cupboards are just basically empty storage spaces where we're gonna put bits and bobs. I think we're gonna keep that and just add some you know, additional pieces underneath the stairs. We don't know what yet. We've got a radiator here in the hallway. And then as you keep going down the corridor, we have a, I don't know what this is called, a landing end of the hallway type situation but in this part of the house is our living room so this is our lounge area living room and i absolutely love this space it's not too small it's not too big and it looks super super cozy and i feel like i have so many good like ideas for this room like i said guys 
the carpet is going. We're getting rid of all the carpet. There'll be no carpet in this house. Um, so yeah, once we've painted, we've got the flooring in, then we can start decorating properly. But this is basically our lounge. We're definitely gonna keep this fireplace and see how we feel about it for a couple of years. We're not gonna get rid of it. We actually really like the fireplace. But yeah, this is our lounge. And then we're gonna walk into one of our other favorite parts of the house which is our conservatory. So guys, come in and see our conservatory. So this is our conservatory guys, excuse the mess. We actually started taking apart some of the floor upstairs. So this is the floor parts that we started taking apart from upstairs. We put it in here for now. So this is our conservatory. It's so lovely and warm in here. The sun is shining and it's like proper ventilated and this looks like it's going to be like a cozy place for us to come and chill. I'm not sure what we're going to do, whether we're going to put a sofa or a dining table in here. I don't know, but I'll add some inspo onto the screen and you guys let me know what, you, what we should do with this room. We're not too sure what we're going to do. If we're going to make it like a chilled area with sofas or we're going to turn it into like a dining area. We actually don't know yet. It's super, super cute. I think we're going to keep that and all the blinds are getting changed. The fireplace is gonna remain. We're gonna keep it in there. We're not gonna take it apart. So from the conservatory, you can actually go out into the garden. So follow me as we go out to the garden. So this is our garden area. Like I said, guys, excuse the mess. We've started clearing out the house and literally tearing everything apart and everything is in the garden now. This is our garden area. So, the seller actually left this. Um, we're going to keep it, see how we feel about it. We might get rid of it, who knows. And then we have a deck area and we have a chef in here. Come in and have a go at the chef. Plenty of space, plenty of storage in here. <laughs> And this is our garage. I'm gonna get the keys and show you guys around there a little later on, but let's go into the rest of the house. So from the garden, so you can come in through from this conservatory or you can come back in here, back into the hallway. So from the garden, you can come back into the hallway and then you can go straight upstairs. Come upstairs and let me show you guys what the upstairs looks like. So the first room upstairs is one of our least favorite rooms. It's actually the bathroom. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like before the renovation, but this bathroom is 100% going to get changed. I do not like it at all. It's very outdated, it's very old. It's very crusty and it just needs to go. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's the bathroom. We're not a fan of the bathroom. So here is the first bedroom. I think this is gonna be the master bedroom. So let's just come in here. So we've already started taking apart the floor, but as you come in, this is quite a spacious room and it also has built-in wardrobes or cupboards already we're going to revamp it make it look more modern make it look more stylish but yes this is i think going to be mine and vincent's room we're not too sure yet but once it's all done out we'll change we'll decide which room we're going to actually decide to have our own but yeah this is the size of the first bedroom which will probably be the master bed let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if this should be our master bedroom or the guest bedroom. We don't know. But let's move on to the next bedroom. So this is the landing and we have some more storage space. I think an old bo boiler used to be here and they got rid of that, thank God. So now we have like extra storage here. And then we're going to move to the second bedroom, which I think should be the guest bedroom. So this is the second bedroom. As you guys can see, it also has built-in wardrobe and built-in cupboards. Um, I 
think the other owner put the bed here, directly underneath these. But I don't like this, Vincent doesn't like this, and Vincent and I want to get rid of this. But our mothers want us to keep it, so we're kind of just figuring that out. So this is the second bedroom, which will most likely be the guest bedroom, once we've like cleared all of that out. I think those built-in cupboards will stay and remain, but this section over here, we want it to be taken out. But yeah, this is the second bedroom, also a good size. We're also starting with the floor, we're gonna get some new painting, we're gonna get rid of this. There's just a lot of work to be done, but I can't wait to start like sprucing up the place and giving it a big renovation. But let's move on to the next room. So this is the third bedroom and the smallest room, which I hope to turn into my walking wardrobe. So this is gonna be, I hope, if Vincent allows, my walking wardrobe uh, rather than making it into a third bedroom. Um, so we're gonna also do the floor. We've already started taking the floor apart. Um, it's a good size for a small bedroom. So I'm thinking to have some walking wardrobes here, um, a makeup desk here, and some nice mirror there and a flower pot or chair there. I have a vision guys. I'll put all my inspos on the screen so you guys can see what I'm kind of going for. But yes, this is the third bedroom, which will hopefully be my dressing room. So yeah, that's the small room. So as you guys come back into the landing, as you guys can tell above here, we've got the loft and we would like to turn it into a fourth bedroom, but we just need to figure out how the stairs are gonna work and all of that stuff and actually making it really nice up there. But that's another job for another time, another year. But let's go downstairs and let me show you guys the last part of the room, which is the garage. This is our huge garage that's literally attached to the back of the house. So we have so many ideas for this garage. Vincent is thinking of making it into like his man cave or he's thinking of putting a little gym in here. So we've got big, big plans of this garage, but this is currently the situation of the garage. It needs some TLC, it needs some sprucing up. So we've got some, we've got some ideas for it, but this is basically what it looks like since the cellar moved out. And it's basically just another space attached to the house. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the empty house tour. Vincent and I are super excited to be starting this journey and we are super thankful for all the love, the comments, we see it all. And we just want you guys to be part of our journey as we start this amazing project. You guys are literally amazing and we just wanna hear all your ideas. So comment below, like this video, subscribe and join us on this journey. And we hope to see you guys very, very soon soon in our next renovation video which will be coming soon so stay tuned subscribe to the video subscribe to the channel like comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff but we are super super thankful for all the love for all the support and we just can't wait to see you guys on this journey so until then guys bye